morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Carlo G, your local, friendly, level 1 judge with another episode of Judge Club. Today, we are returning to the lush jungles and tropical islands on the plain of Ixalan in the newest Magic the Gathering set, Lost Caverns of Ixalan. In today's episode of Judge Call, we will be looking at the mechanics of descent, fatness descent, craft, discover, map tokens, finality counters, and the returning mechanic from the original Ixalan Explore. Under Ixalan's lush jungles are paths untraveled, just waiting to be discovered. Discover. Discover X. Exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card with mana value X or less. That card is considered discovered and you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. If you choose not to cast it, put it in your hand and put the remaining exiled cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. Only the card's mana cost will be considered for the mana value. Ignore any increases, deductions, alternate costs, and additional costs. When you discover, you must exile cards face up. When you choose to cast a spell without paying the mana cost, you can't choose to cast it for any other alternate cost, but you can choose to pay additional costs. Throughout the plain, many caves have opened up, just inviting unwary travelers to descend to their depths. Descend and Fathomless Descend. Descend and Fathomless Descend are ability words that focus on one of the following. How many permanent cards are in the graveyard? And if a permanent card enter the graveyard this turn, and how many on this turn? Cards that have Descend N have abilities that care about if you have at least N permanent cards in your graveyard. Cards with the ability Fathomless Descend are cards that count how many permanent cards are in your graveyard at a time? Some descend triggered abilities will include intervening if clauses. Intervening if descend triggers will check two times when the ability is put on the stack and when the ability resolves. Tokens are not cards. Even if tokens are put into a graveyard before ceasing to exist, that action do not count towards a player having descended as descend look at specifically permanent cards. From turning traps into vehicles or a tree stump into a defender, the explorers of Ixalan are ready to craft any tools they need on their adventure. Craft. Craft represents an activated ability on double face cards. It is written as craft with materials cost, where materials is a description of one or more objects. It means cost. Exile this permanent, exile materials from among permanents you control and or cards in your graveyard. Return this card to the battlefield transformed under its owner's control. Activate only as a sorcery. An ability of a permanent may refer to the exile cards used to craft it. This refers to cards in exile that were exiled to pay the activation cost of the craft ability that put this permanent onto the battlefield. For example, Jade Heart Attendant will look at the mana value of the exiled card used to craft it. If your exiled card was a creature with mana value 4, you will gain 4 life. Of all the beautiful and efficient tools that denizens of Ixalan can craft, a map is essentially the most essential. Map Tokens A map token is a colorless map artifact token with one tap, Sacrifice this artifact, target creature you control explores. Activate only as a sorcery. Once a would-be explorer would have their tools and the courage to go exploring, what's more to do than to explore even more? Explore. Certain abilities instruct a permanent to explore. To do so, that permanent controller reveal the top card of their library. If a land card is revealed this way, that player puts that card into their hand. Otherwise, that player puts a plus one plus one counter on the exploring permanent and may put the revealed card into their graveyard. To simplify the effect, reveal the top card. If the revealed card is a land card, put into hand and then you're done. If the non-land card is revealed, put a plus one plus one counter on the creature that explored. Then, you choose to put it in the graveyard or keep it on top of your library, then you're done. If a permanent changes zone before an effect causes it to explore, its last known information is used to determine which object explored and who controlled it. And yes, if the creature is killed before explore happens, you still explore. As fun it is 
to explore the lost caverns of Ixalan, all good things must come to its finality. Finality counter. One or more finality counters on a permanent creates a single replacement effect that stops the permanent from going into the graveyard. That effect is, if this permanent would be put into a graveyard from the battlefield, exile it instead. And those are the new and returning mechanics for the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Judge Squad. If you have any rules questions or card interaction questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And this has been your local friendly Level 1 Judge, Carlo G, for another episode of Judge Squad. Do watch out for our next episode as we investigate the murders at Carlov Manor. Bye! Okay, there are times when there are outtakes ba kung yaw. Yeah. Lost jungles. Oh, nai. 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 Nai.